Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. The parent of Jewel Osco is selling the supermarket and several other businesses for $3.3 billion to a group of investors led by New York-based Cerberus Capital Management. Minnesota-based SuperValue, which is also selling Albertsons, Shaw's and Star Market, and Acme stores, has struggled for years to turn around its business as the supermarket industry takes on new big box competitors like Target and other large chains. Joining me now on the phone with more on the impact on Jewel here in Chicago is Cranes correspondent Lee Murphy. Lee, what triggered this sale and uh, why now? Well, I guess you could say why not before now. Jewel's parent SuperValue, which is headquartered up in Minneapolis, has been troubled for some time now. The supermarket business is narrow margin and very competitive. And, you know, it's been pretty evident for a long time that SuperValue has not been very competitive and has been looking to sell off assets for at least a couple of years. Jewel is one of the better performing assets that super value is owned and was considered pretty marketable. Actually, this sale could have happened a year ago and would have made sense then. This had less to do with Jewel's performance and more about super value, maybe trying to focus on its strengths and cut costs? Super value has frankly not been a very good grocery operator. Super value's past is really rooted in the wholesale side of the business. They really only started to get into the retail side in the 1980s and the 1990s with very mixed success. And frankly, uh, here in the last, oh, five years or so, Jewel has been pretty roundly criticized for an assortment of products that is pretty bland, pretty middle of the road, pretty unadventurous. And that has actually allowed competitors, including new names like Mariano's, which is coming down from Wisconsin, has allowed them to take market share away from Jewel. This is a company that has seen its business eroding for quite a while. And while Jewel has a great presence here, it's the number one grocer in the market with a 30% share of the overall marketplace, about $5 billion in sales. In fact, it's been losing sales to smaller, cheaper, more nimble competitors. And so this is a company that has been uh, somewhat troubled, and uh, the new owner, Cerberus, is going to have to fix this business. Yeah, so with that said, what might we expect uh, now from Jewel in Chicago as far as uh, locations, layout, the offerings they have? The sources I'm talking to expect that Jewel is probably going to see a closing of maybe 20 to 40 locations. This is pretty common when a private equity company comes into a new business like this or an older operating business. They typically look for places where they can cut to a smaller core of profitability. We're likely to see new merchandising, some new layouts, some new uh, retail ideas. But even more important, ultimately, we're likely to see another owner of this business. Uh, Cerberus here is a stopgap owner. They are a private equity firm that is going to look to uh, either fix this business or, failing that, at least flip it eventually to another buyer. Best guess is that uh, within two or three years, maybe sooner, this company will be sold to Kroger. Kroger does not have a full-line grocery presence in Chicago and would love to be here. And Jewel is ready-made for Kroger. And Kroger, uh, with $100 billion in uh, annual sales, is one company that is big enough to take down Jewel with, uh, without a lot of problems. Lee Murphy with the latest on Jewel. Lee, thanks for the time. Thank you. Bye-bye.